Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, fog starting to roll in along parts of the south coast, and it will work inland, so pretty much a repeat of what we had uh, last night and early this morning. Take a look outside. Now, in Providence, in fact, really most areas away from the shoreline still holding on to warm, hazy sunshine. There's no fog in Providence yet, but you should get this uh, several hours later. The, the transition is first along the coast, then eventually it works up Narragansett Bay into Providence and points beyond. So you look at Easton's Beach in uh, Newport, uh, the flag tells us the wind is coming in off the water, so it's carrying that uh, moist, humid air over the cool ocean waters and the net result of the, the low clouds and the fog. Now, down in Narragansett, <laughs> look, you can see it right here. There's the leading edge of the fog, and you got sunshine back here, so it's just starting. Look at that, from dramatic pictures. Just starting to roll in off the ocean, so Narragansett will be getting socked in in the next uh, 30 minutes. So when we take a look at the visibility forecast, and you can see how it starts along the coastline, and then watch how the low clouds and fog spread north overnight and into early tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. And the trend is, as the sun comes up, it burns off from north to south. Now, inland areas should burn this off rather rapidly by later tomorrow morning, but during the afternoon, it may be more stubborn right along the immediate coastline. So a little brighter to the north, but along the coast, it may be harder this time around uh, to burn off some of the clouds and the fog. So we take a look at the weather headlines, which includes uh, the fog for tonight and the high humidity level sticking around now through at least Saturday morning. Humidity dropping off on Sunday and Sunday would be uh, a brighter day. In fact, next chance for scattered showers outside of any mist or drizzle late tonight, early tomorrow morning. I think would be Friday, though I think mostly at night and still have some at least scattered showers hours on Saturday, especially uh, during the morning. Sunday looks better. Satellite radar composite, it's quiet across New England in terms of any precipitation. Second tropical system of the season has formed. It was Bertha a little while ago, came on shore, and is now a tropical depression. Hurricane season doesn't officially start till June 1st, and already the second system. Uh, no longer a tropical storm, but more of a wind concern. This will drift north over the next several days across western Pennsylvania. The direct moisture from this not anticipated to move into uh, our area. In the meantime, we'll get in real close. I'm going to walk you through the forecast hour by hour starting off this evening. Of course, we all know what the gray is, the low clouds and fog and advancing to the north this evening and overnight. This is uh, early in the morning tomorrow at 7 a.m. Humid, low 60s, fog, mist, even a bit of drizzle, and then notice how it gradually burns off during the afternoon. Now, inland areas are in the mid-70s, the coast in the 60s. The sky's probably not as blue as what we had today, though I do think we get some partial sun through the cloud cover, but I think a little more in the way of clouds coming up for tomorrow, but still mild and humid. We'll bring in some scattered showers, though, uh, Thursday night, extending into part of Friday. So, a uh, slow start early in the morning on Thursday Stay foggy and damp, some partial sun by 11 a.m. I'd call it more of a cloud hazy sun mixture early in the afternoon, and then the clouds roll back in later in the day. Temperatures between 73 and 74, but the humidity will make it feel warmer. Scattered showers on Friday. I'm leaning more towards a Friday evening, Friday night. Scattered showers for Saturday. Better on Sunday, less humid and sunshine with a high of 72. Mike and Shannon.